Hello again, everyone. Um, yeah, so, I think I'm gonna go inside after this video. I don't really feel like filming. I know that's odd, I always feel like being in the light of the camera. But, I don't know, I guess I'm just having one of those days. I'm thinking to myself, why did I put on this lipstick? Why did I put on this makeup to film and now I don't want to? Yeah. Ugh. I'm just a bad person for my fans. My fans are relying on me. <laughs> I'm a bad person to rely on. I'm very dependable when I have a job and when I'm feeling good. And I always, always, always keep my promises. Even if they get me in trouble or even if it means I end up in Wisconsin and have to come back two days later. But that's another story. So yeah, I don't really have much to say, I don't really know what to say, so I'm just going to smoke a cigarette, but I think I'm going to go inside. Sorry. It's not you guys, it's me. I didn't really feel hungry, and I don't really want to gain weight, because I'm liking that I'm getting skinnier, but I feel like going inside and just like eating all the food in the house. But I really want McDonald's. Ugh, I'm being so whiny. If I had a lot of money and if my credit card wasn't almost maxed out, I'd totally go to McDonald's, get myself probably a double cheeseburger, a Big Mac, some french fries, and then maybe I'd go to Wendy's and get myself a Baconator, and then I'd stop by Starbucks and get myself some coffee or some tea or both, and... I raid the grocery store while I was there because the Starbucks near my house is in a grocery store. So I'd uh, go to Publix where shopping is a pleasure and uh, get myself some combos. I love those. The pretzel ones with the cheese inside. I just get myself a bunch of like food to pig out on. I feel like I need salty food. And then I would just go home and I'd eat my favorite first and then leave a favorite to last and then like just slowly eat through it and then when I got hungry when I got full I'd sit there and let the rest sit there and then when I was not when I was just okay to eat a little bit more I'd eat more <laughs> and then I'd be full again and then I'd eat more and it sounds really awful it's bad enough to be vain but then adding another sin to that, another seven sin, and adding gluttony to that. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I just feel like that. And sometimes when I have a little bit of extra money, I do that. Like, I went to Wendy's, and I got myself, um, the Baconator meal, um, the, whatever you call it, value size, or whatever they call it at Wendy's, and so I had a big, huge Coke, and big thing of fries, although I'm not really a fan of Wendy's fries, I like Chick-fil-A fries better, and then I got myself a chicken sandwich too, well, the chicken sandwich club with the bacon, and then I got some coffee from Starbucks, and then I went home and proceeded to eat it all gradually, and it was delicious, let me tell you, it was delicious, I could probably live off of fast food. Like the guy that did McDonald's for 30 days, but I get tired of just McDonald's. Like I can just live off of like fast food restaurants, or like I would love some sesame chicken right now. That's my all-time favorite favorite food. I would pick up an order of sesame chicken too, and if I had enough money, I'd go to this this cool. Um, Japanese steak and sushi restaurant where they cook in front of you. It's kind of expensive though. It's only like a once in a while thing. 
and I'd get myself um, the shrimp and scallops because oh my gosh, it's so good. They fry it right in front of you with the with the rice, and I'd get some um, like shrimp fried rice. Oh man, it's heaven. It's heaven. I wish we had a P.F. Chang's nearby, because I love P.F. Chang's, too. I ate there in Wisconsin all the time with Dan. Their lettuce wraps are the bomb, and then they have lemon scallops, and I really like seafood, and scallops, I love scallops. And their lemon scallops, oh, they're so good. So anybody who has a P.F. Chang's nearby and has the money to spare one day, get the lemon scallops. They're so good, so good. And their fried rice is amazing. It's a huge platter. The shrimp fried rice, oh, it's to die for. Everything's to die for if it's food. I'm not one of those people that eats to live. I pretty much live to eat. I mean, right now, like, I've only had one thing to eat today. And I'm not really hungry, but all of a sudden, just some days I'm like, I could eat the world. Oh, shoot, I dropped my cigarette. Yeah, so that's one of those days, I guess, when I'm bored, I just feel like eating the world. I could, like, put on the TV and eat. But like I said, I'd really like to play Xbox, and I'd really like to play Oblivion, because I'm so close to, like, beating, like, the main part of the game, and then I'd go around and do, like, all the little things that I want to do. Because I love that game. It's so awesome. I decided I was tired of the Oblivion Gates, if you know the game. So I was like, I'm going to close all the gates and then do all the tasks afterwards. Which I hope you can still do. If you can't, please, someone tell me. But, yeah, so I was going to close all the main gates and then um, go do all the little tasks, like the vampire tasks and whatever. Some days, like, I'll never feel like playing and I'll go for like a month without playing. And my brother's lending me my Xbox, his Xbox. And then, like, he comes and picks it up while I'm sleeping, and I'm like, oh, shoot, today was the day I wanted to play, and I didn't play for three weeks. I always want to play when it's not here. Isn't that how it is? You always want what you can't have, and you always want to do what you can't do when it's not there. <laughs> That's just life, I guess. These are my philosophies on life. <laughs> So I called my mom to see where my dad was going, because he got in the car and drove away. And I didn't know if he was, like, all of a sudden going to get me McDonald's. My mom's like, and I an she answered the phone right when the uh, answering machine picked it up. And I, she was like, hello? And I was like, hi, this is the prodigal son. <laughs> and she's like, yes. I had to get up out of my chair while I'm watching the news to answer the phone. And it was you, calling from the hammock. And I was like, yeah, I was just wondering where Dad was going. And she was like, he's going to the store to pick up some prescriptions and paper towels. And um, she was like, you couldn't ask him that? And I said, no, he got in the car before I could ask him. <sighs> Maybe I'm just lazy. I don't know, but anyway, I'm totally going inside after this. I'll sit on my butt and eat whatever's in the house. I could make myself a tuna melt. That sounds good. But like I said, I really want McDonald's. I have a check for $25, but it's Sunday, and I can't go to the bank. But if I had that $25, I'd spend it all on fast food, like I said. I hope I don't live like this for the rest of my life. I hope I I get things together. I hope Jane calls me. <laughs> anyway, this cigarette's almost out. And uh, then I'm going to go inside. And probably see you guys tomorrow. I'm not even going to do a sign out today because it's just way too early. I wish, like, you could get, like, food over the internet, like, you could order McDonald's and it would just come out of a machine and be there, and it would be, like, perfect, like, fresh and warm and 
not like sitting there all day. That would be awesome. That would be bad for me though. I get totally fat. Alright, well that's it for the cigarette, so I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Unless I'm feeling bummed like this. Um so yeah, hope everything's going great for you guys. And uh thanks for being great fans. So I am just not cool as a famous person. Well, I just said I wasn't cool. Maybe I'm not. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Bye.